Alright guys, so here's what we're going to do. I feel like when I use files at the forge, these ends, I'm constantly either breaking them off or burning them off because I don't need them for most of my projects. So we're going to try something different. I have three files here and there's actually more over in our scrap pile. I'm going to take these, I'm going to draw them out, we're going to make some fish hooks. See how that works. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so we're taking the end of this file. I have my forge already heated up. Now these burn off quick, so this is probably a little bit overkill with the heat. But I'd like to be able to forge the entire hook while it's still on this long file. And then just cut it at the end once it's all done. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see. The thing is, why I want to try this experiment a little bit, like I said earlier in the opening, these ends, there's so many of them laying around here from us doing stuff with files, it's absolutely crazy. I think the hardest part of this is going to be controlling the heat on this, which I'm actually going to turn off my blower. We, th these coals might be hot enough just to heat this end up now that I initially got it heated up. If, if that works, we're making a dozen fish hooks here with all the scrap that's around. So let's just keep drawing out this end. I'm going to get this good and pointy. I know a lot of times when people put fishing hooks in survival kits, they're putting stuff that you can catch it sharks with. I need about a size 14 hook, to, at least where I operate for the most part in the eastern woodlands. If you're looking at bluegills, sunfish, perch, even a trout, we don't have too big a trout around here. And where they are real big, they're normally stalked by somebody. So if I'm in a section like that, I should be able to get out. I really don't need to catch a fish to eat. So far, so good. It seems like they're drawn out pretty good. I really want to get these nice and pointed out. If this one works good, we're going to cut it once we get it bent. I will file it afterwards, but I'm going to get another bigger file out. We're going to try to cut a barb into it. Yep. getting there. Okay guys, so I'm back. I grabbed my multi-tool. Finish up this first fish hook. Now, while I was at camp, I was thinking we had some wire laying around. But my concern is if I can grab the wire and pretty easily bend a small section on my own, when I forge it, I'm not going to get that rigidity that I want within it. So, this is where you really need to be careful as far as you need to keep the piece real hot. Take your time while you're bending, otherwise you're going to bend it and crack it. get up close here. As you can see, have a nice little hook. I'm actually going to chisel this portion off at right about where my pliers are at. One hit with the chisel should cut it through. I'm just going to warm that up a little bit. And then I'm going to flatten out this edge here. So it's um, flat on the end. So when I tie on my rope or my line, it doesn't pull off. I'm trying to think what company uh, must add hooks if you get them already with the leader on That's how they are. They don't have an eye on the hook. They just have a flat top on it So I'm actually gonna Because I said this is so delicate 
I may just be able to grab my file kit. I mean my chisels and cut off the hook. I just don't want that thing to go flying. So let's see where we're at here. Be careful when you move this stuff around because this file is still going to be warm. Alright, dropped my fish hook, so I'm going to grab that and we'll get back. Alright guys, so we're still down here at the forge. Um, we finished one of the fish hooks. I'm going to start a second one now. Um, this one I'm going to add a barb on to, so we'll go step by step on that. The finished product of the first one, I'm going to touch it up with a file a little bit, just to rough up, to take some rough edges off and to get that point super, super sharp. So let me quick show you that. And as you can... Alright guys, so I wanted to give you some close-ups here. This here, I'm trying to make sure it's in the camera good for you guys. That is going to be the beginning that's going to be the barb for the fish hook. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to bend it back, so that'll be the barb. The bent part, we're going to forge weld, and then draw out that new tip. And then we can curve it, and we'll have ourselves a fish hook with a barb. So all that I'm doing initially is I'm taking this, I'm starting to work it back. Now I don't want to overwork this because it is only thin wire. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to keep bending that back. Just get that red hot. Just crunch that down. And then where I'm at right now this is actually going to be our hook part. It's going to be our hook. So I'm going to pop up this a little bit, just like that. Okay. Sorry, that's shaking. Let's see. Just like that. I'm going to forge weld and draw this end out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw this point out and then we can fold it back. Okay guys, so here's some fish hooks that I made here at the forge today. Um, if you take a look at them, you can see I left the tops a little bit bigger on them. And basically the reason for that is when you tie on your line that top will actually act as a stop, so it won't slide any further. Okay, now the reason I made some different sizes here are, of course, different weight, depending on how deep I want to get. And like I said earlier, you know, I don't want fish hooks that are extremely big because of what kind of fish are primarily in the area that I'm in. So these should fare out pretty well. What I need to do yet is sharpen up the tips. And if I wanted to on some of these bigger tops, like this one here, I can actually take it and grind that more into a T shape at the top if I'm worried about the 
line slipping off. But for the most part, they'll hold on really, really strong. Uh, you saw I did one with the barb. Let's get that camera. They're a little bit tougher, but again, uh, you know, you need to change up sometimes what, what, you're, what you're using for what you're trying to catch. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep them coming here from the forge. Take care, guys.